fiery horse to the speed of light, a cloud of dust and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Even when the homestead days had passed in the western United States, emigrants still pushed into the new territory from the east. They had no money to buy land and settle wherever they could find water and fertile soil. The ranchers drove them off their property time and time again, but the nesters became desperate, and a range war might have developed if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. It was he who found homes for the nesters. It was he who made the ranchers realize that there was room for all. It was his fight for justice, goodwill, and understanding that made the winning of the West possible. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Mustang Mags! Hello, Silver! Away! <laughs> Mustang Mag, the Lone Ranger's old friend, was busy in her kitchen when the door burst open. An old Missouri rushed in. Mag! Wipe your feet! Yeah, but listen! I said wipe your feet, you scalawag, you thief! I got you! Never heard the news that was as important as a clean house. Them boots of yours wiped off good now? Cleaner than they ever been before. Then what's your news? Nester! Huh? Thought that'd get you. Yes, sir, Nesters. Big as life and twice as pesky. You trying to say Nesters is figuring on moving into this range? Shucks, that ain't the half of it. Then what's the other half? They've been chased over three or four places, so now they're moving in on our place. What? As sure as I'm a foot high. Where's my shotgun? Get my horse saddled. Where's that extra buckshot I had? I'll show them. Going after them? What'd you think I'd do? Welcome the skunks? Get my horse saddle, you worthless old wreck, or I'll waste some buckshot on you. Missouri led the way to a small grove. A half dozen wagons had drawn up in the shade of the trees, and Mustang Mag reined in before them. Folks, permission to camp on my land. That's telling them, man. Who's the boss here? Where's your leader? I reckon you must mean me, ma'am. You're in charge of these folks? Yes, ma'am. They'll do like you tell them? Yes, ma'am. Then tell them to pack the duds and git. I got this here shotgun just to purpose for nesters, and I'm just itching to see if the blame thing shoots true. Ma'am. Well? We, we never meant no harm, ma'am, but we just got to have some place to live. Why do you? Why does nesters have to live at all? Well, folks, reckon we'd better be moving on. Hitch up the wagons, men. Mirandy, get the grub that was laid out and... What's that? Huh? Oh, that's just my granddaughter. She ailing? Yes, ma'am. Let me have a look at her. This way, ma'am. Now, Meg, don't you go getting soft-hearted. You're always the worst thing to be put upon. Look in your tongue before I lambaste you one. Hmm. Uh, who's this? 
My daughter, please, ma'am. Nellie, this is the kind lady... I ain't no kind lady. Uh, what's wrong with the young one? She, she's got a fever. Fever, huh? What's the idea of traipsing all over the country with a young and a tailing? I'm begging your pardon, Mum. It ain't because we want to. Then why is it? We we all had homes, ma'am, but there was dust storms. We couldn't make nothing grow. We had to leave them. And, and now we don't know what's going to happen to us. We can start any time now, Josh. Start for where? Well... And for why? But you just now said we had to move on. Never said anything of the kind. And if I did, it was just joshing you. Can't you take a joke? I knowed it, Mag. I knowed it. The little you know could be stuck in my eye and never make me blink. You, you mean we can stay here? The others can, but you and the young un can't. Oh. Uh, you're coming home with me. Oh. Uh, Missouri. Uh-huh. Help these folks move over closer to the water hole. It's nicer there. Uh, find out what grub they need and see that they get it or I'll tan your hide. Uh, ma'am. Mustang Mag's my handle. Uh, Mag. If there was only some way we could thank you. No aren't thanks. Too much of that in the world now is not enough reason for it. Now make yourselves to home, and if anybody tries to bother you, just let me know. <laughs> Honest to gosh, Mag, you are all the time making out to be hard-hearted. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> yes, sir. Three weeks passed. Resentment grew among the ranchers in the territory that Mustang Mag should tolerate the nesters. She was warned several times, but she paid no attention. One afternoon, Nellie Madden was sitting at a window in Mustang Mag's parlor, her baby in her lap, and... Oh, you sweet little baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Why, sir? I should have been out in the kitchen helping you, but I got to playing with the baby. You stay right where you are. Does me more good to see you and the young and chipper again than all the help in the kitchen you could give me in a year. You've been so kind. <laughs> kind. All I ever aim to be is human. If that means being kind, too, then it's just sort of in- incidental. <laughs> dentist! Dentist! By gosh, man, I don't care what you say. I won't go to the dentist. You ain't got a tooth left in your head. You don't know what I'm talking about anyway. Uh, but I heard you Close say... Close your trap. Look here, Missouri... You doggone sure you seen the masked man? I did, Mag. Honest, I did. Kind of expected him before this. Well, uh... Say, Missouri, you look me in the eye. What are you keeping back? Mm, nothing. Spit it out. Well, uh, I did kind of mention I want no great hurry. You loco idiot. But, Mag, even you didn't figure then that the ranchers would get as mean as they'd done. I knew they wouldn't just back down. We've caused you so much trouble. No such thing. I like a good fight. And before I get through these bullheaded cowmen around these parts are going to learn they can't tell me what to do. I'll teach them. Mm, kind of looks like you can start teaching them right now. Huh? Oh, back again, huh? Leif Kent and Rick Sweeney and old Burgess. Three biggest ranchers in the county. <laughs> they all look the same size to me. Walk in, ain't nothing stopping you. Oh, boy. And I don't say another word, gents, before you listen to me. That's all right. All I was going to say is that if they get tough with you, they got me to deal with. And that ain't much. Oh. Uh, well... Out with it. Mag, there's some of us that's been here to talk to you before. I know it. We said you'd have to tell them nesters to move on. You ain't paid no attention. Ain't it my land they're on? Do you figure you can tell me who can live in my land and who can't? The next thing, you'll be telling us to move on. I'll do the talking. Now, just a second, Mag. It ain't just a question of where they live. Why ain't it? Because nesters ain't never settled nowhere but what ranchers started losing cows. And once you leave nesters settle any place, there's always others that follow us. First thing we know, the whole county will be overrun with them. They ain't stole none of my cows. Sure not. They got you mad at them. They wouldn't have no place to stay. You're just the same as calling them thieves. Mag, the trouble is that nesters don't think that killing a cow for beef every once in a while is stealing. They get to thinking they got a right to that meat. All right, then. Have you fellas been losing any cows yet? They ain't been here long enough for us to tell, but we will lose them if they stay. Only they ain't gonna stay. Careful how you talk to Mag, Kent. I'm a-watching you all the time. None of your lip, Missouri. Hold on. I'll talk to Missouri that way if I've a mind to, but I'll be blasted if anybody else will. What we want to know is what you're going to do. Rick, Kent, Mr. Burgess, look at this girl here. Please, Mag. Don't mind them, honey. Look at this girl and her young'un. Three weeks ago, there was both so doggone thin you could almost see through them. 
The young one was ailing, and them all weren't much better. You fellas, if it had been left up to you, would have drove them out of here. And maybe the young one would have died because of it. We ain't responsible for Nestor's. So you want to know what I'm going to do, huh? Just so. All right, I'll tell you. I've got more range than I'll ever use. Some of it will make mighty fine farming land. I'm giving each family enough to make a living on. They can pay me when they're able. And there ain't enough of you stubborn fools in the country to make me do any different. Now put that in your pipe and smoke it. And I hope it chokes you. Well, uh, well <coughs> uh, you tell her, Kent. Tell me what? Meg, me and the rest of the men have talked it over. We come to a decision. That's what we're here to tell you. Go on. Either them nesters leave... Well, we're organizing to chase them out. Off my land. You heard it. Try it, and I'll drill the first one of your kids. Get out! Listen, Missouri, don't you try to order us around. Get out before I get my dander out. Why are you all... You heard, it? Missouri. Get out. What? Come on, Tom. Ah. Yippee! Meg, look who's here. I'm so doggone glad to see you two. I can't find words for it. We saw those horses outside, Meg. We didn't let on we were here until we learned what was going on. There's plenty going on. So it seems. <laughs> but now you and Tom are here to back me up. You see that, you polecats? The Lone Ranger and Tonto are on our side. What we said still goes, Meg. Think it over. I've thought it over, and you got my final answer. You'll be sorry for it. So you've got yourself in trouble again, Meg. <laughs> Friend, I couldn't <laughs> abide without it. <laughs> Tonto, plenty glad to see you. For <laughs> sakes, Tonto, you ain't no more glad than I am. I tell you, it's worth any trouble I get in just to have you folks around. That night in the camp they had made not far from Mustang Mag's ranch house, the masked man revealed to Tonto that it was more than the trouble between nesters and ranchers which had brought him to the district. Well, the ranchers think that the nesters are the big problem. Uh, and them not know. They knew that the Gila kid was camping the hills. They'd forget the nesters. You tell them? They know we're on Mag's side. If I told them now, they'd believe it was a trick to cover up for the nesters. Oh. They lose cattle, they'd claim we invented the story to protect the people really to blame. That's right. They'd believe us, however, if we could prove the Gila kid was in the district. And what we do? Kimasabe, I want you to try to find his camp. Mm, I'll try. I don't want you to attack them. Don't let yourself be discovered. Dislocate their camp, then report to me. And um, when me ride? Now, enter the hills at night and you won't be observed. That good idea. I'll keep this camp. Return here as soon as you can. How to do that? And while you're gone, Tonto, I'll make sure no harm comes to Mustang, Mag, or the Nesters. Not good. Me saddle, scout. No. In the meantime, the ranchers told all their friends of Mag's answer to their challenge. Hatred of Nesters was deep-seated among the cowmen... And feeling against Mag's attitude ran high. A meeting was called at Leif Kent's home, and each of the ranchers voiced his opinion. So, gents, I say it ain't to be put up with. Them nesters have got to go before we start losing cattle and get so many nesters in here that they'll get too hard to handle. That's right. <laughs> Looks like they ain't but one opinion on it. You bet there ain't, Kent. Them nesters got to go. And listen to me. We all want to get rid of them. We should all act together. Ain't no use in our going about it without being organized. We wouldn't get no place, and besides, everybody ought to do his share. Uh, just one thing, Kent. What's that, Rick? The Lone Ranger's on Mag's side. Yeah, I know. Now, I don't know how the rest of you fellas feel about it, but I'll be doggone if I want that hombre after me. Well, don't see how it can be helped unless we back down. Sure it can. Yeah, how? That fella don't go for anybody unless he knows the fellow he's aiming to get is guilty. Mm-hmm. So what I'd suggest is that when we run them nesters out... We wear hoods. Oh, like vigilantes? Yes, so. By Thunder Rick, you got it. Uh, you think so, Ken? I tell you, fellas, that's the only way we can do it. We all know the masked man's on Mag's side, and I ain't taking no chances again him, neither. Uh, well, what do the rest of you fellas say? I reckon I feel like Ken does about it. I'm for wearing hoods. I say the same. We can't let him recognize us. There ain't no telling what'd happen to us if he did. Then it's agreed? Yes, yes. yes. Good. We'll call ourselves vigilantes and run them nesters right out of the country. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Thank you.
Now to continue our story. The half dozen families of nesters were still camped at the water hole on Mustang Mag's range, preferring to wait until the trouble was settled before moving to the farmland. It was at night two days later that Mag and Missouri called at the camp to inform the nesters of the talk Missouri had heard in town. Tell Mr. Simmons what you heard, Missouri. Don't hold nothing back. Better for them to know the worst than they can be on guard against it. Well, Mr. Simmons... I, uh, I'd like it fine if you'd just call me Josh. Why, sure. Glad to, Josh. <laughs> You were saying... Well, get on with it, Missouri. You can talk free enough when you ain't supposed to. Well, let me get on with it, won't you? Like I was saying, Josh, before Mag butted in, now them fool ranchers is calling themselves vigilantes. Well, cool. Yeah, and they're going around wearing the hood. That's just it. They ain't satisfied with just picking on folks that can't defend themselves. They gotta hide their faces while they're doing it. We was awful contented here. Are you going to stay that way? I think it'd be better for everybody if we just were cleared out, Mom. You're scared? No, it ain't that. I ain't a fighting man, though I'd always be willing to fight from a home. No, you see, what I was thinking was if we cleared out, it'd be better for you. I've told Meg that a dozen times before, but she won't listen to me. Look here. Yes, ma'am. You just got through saying you was happy here. Yes, ma'am. And it's made me happy to be able to help you. I've got right well acquainted with you folks in the last month, and they never did see anybody I'd rather be neighbors to. Mm, that's mighty kind of a mum. Don't but... butt in when the lady's talking. Uh, now then, uh, what I started to say is this. When I want my own way, I get it. Ask Missouri if I don't. Well, I should smile. Yes, sir. Up to now, you folks have just had the ranches again, you. But if you folks sneak away after I've asked you to stay on, I'll be bound if I don't give each and every one of you a laugh on myself. Oh, Meg... I I just hope I can be as fine and square as you are. Nonsense. Now, uh, here's another thing. I've told all you folks about the Lone Ranger and about him being here to help you. And now I've yet to see the ruckus that man can't handle. But we ain't seen nothing of him, Mum. Well, that's of his own choosing. But he'll be on hand when he's needed. And that's something you can tie to. So don't you folks pull stakes. Stay here. And if you have to, give them ranchers better than they can give you. Well, uh... Yes, I'm tired of being pushed around from pillar to post. Mags give us a chance for homes, and I'm going to fight to keep it. Good for you. Well, if you folks think it's best... Yes. Yes. What's that? It's him, Mag. It's him, the mask man. Mask man? Then that means something's up. You bet it does. He wouldn't be riding here if there wasn't. There he is. Hey! Hey there! What was that you said? The ranchers are on their way here now. You sure? I've been keeping watch. I've been gathering all evening. They left Rick Sweeney's place an hour ago. You come all that way in just an hour? Thanks to Silver. How soon do you figure they can get here? I'd give them another half hour. Hey, Meg, I'll, I'll be getting back to the house for our guns and ammunition. You stay right here. Yeah, but, but we'll be needing something to fight them off with. We brought guns with us, and you needn't pretend we didn't. Did we, Meg? You carried them. Guys. Ain't that funny how it slipped my mind. Josh, I'll get safe. Wait, but I, wanted... I came here to warn you. I'm riding back to meet them. Hello? There'll be no fighting here if I can help it. But they'd shoot you. They aren't murderers. They're just ranchers blinded by prejudice. Missouri, the masked man can't ride alone to meet them fellas. If he's going, you're going too. That's just what I want to do. I'd like nothing better than facing them pool cats and telling them off. And it's just my blasted luck that my horse pulled up lame so as I can't do it. When did that happen? Uh, just as we got here. Didn't say nothing to you, Mag, because it didn't want to worry you. You're a storytelling old maverick. Oh, Mag. I'd rather ride alone anyway. Wait, listen. Maybe that's them now. No, it's just a single horse. Aye, Kimasabi. It's Tano. Tano. Oh, Scout. Oh, oh, Scout. Oh, did you find the Gila kid? Me find them. I hear a kid. Is that sidewinder around these parts? He's camped in the hills, Mag. Land sakes. Ranchers on the prod, outlaws in the hills, Missouri in the way. There's trouble in every direction. No, Mag. You wait. What is it, Hunter? Heal a kid. Ride. Right now. A raid? Huh? Where? Him no ranchers ride. Him rob place feller named Kent. Great day. Kent's with them ranchers riding here. And the Gila kid's riding for Kent's place. Don't. Don't you think Mr. Kent ought to be warned? You want to warn him, Josh, when you know blame well he's coming here to run you off this land? Well, that is... Tonto, 
If the Gila kid is riding, he'll get to Kent's place soon. Uh, it'd take maybe an hour. And that means Kent can't be warned. The ranchers are approaching from the opposite direction, from Rick Sweeney's place. Take time to warn Kent, and the Gila kid would have struck and gone. That's so. But if we rode at once, we can arrive almost when those outlaws do. Where are you getting at? It's up to these people here. The men will join me. Kent's ranch can be saved. But heavens above, that'd mean they'd be leaving the women folks behind without nobody to protect them when the vigilantes get here. Mag, you know those men well enough to realize they won't harm the women. I ain't afraid. But the vigilantes direct a camp here. Uh, ma'am. Well? I don't want to cross you, ma'am, but I sort of think it's our duty to go with the masked men. Huh? We, we're just poor folks. Ain't got much to lose even if the vigilantes does wreck what we got. But if them outlaws was to burn Mr. Kent's place or something like that, why, that'd mean quite a sizable loss. Pa, you go. All right. Uh, the rest of you think I'm right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be switched. Doing favors for folks that are set to do your dirt. Uh, Josh, let me shake your hand. It ain't only right. Then to your horses. Now stay here. When them vigilantes show up, they're going to get a piece of my mind that'll hold them to judgment day. The men saddled their horses, then set out across country after the masked man and Tonto. <laughs> They were within sight of their goal when suddenly a bright beacon of flame burst from the cluster of buildings ahead. The barn! They fired the barn! Get him up, scout! Get him up! Them flames spread the whole place will go! Shut up! Ah, the helix is still there. Take half the men and circle to the left. We'll surround them. How to do it! Half of you follow me! Free your guns! Make ready to fire! Come on, Silver! Hi-yo, Silver! Sweeping forward in two half circles, the nesters threw a ring of armed men around the building. Not until they closed in. Charging down upon the outlaws was their approach discovered. Then, surprised and desperate, the Gila kid and his men opened fire. And when a rope, snaking from the Lone Ranger's saddle, fell in a loop around the Gila kid's shoulders, the fight was over. I give up! I give up! No! No, don't shoot! Don't shoot! Go, go, go. I'll take that gun. Dado, what you want? Gather the prisoners together. Disarm them. Leave one man to guard them. The others are needed to fight that fire. I'm going to do it. Josh, the rest of you, help with the fire. Come on. It's likely to send the whole place up in smoke. The barn can't be saved. We'll just feel that heat. Watch the bunkhouse, the corrals, the ranch house. Draw water from the well. Wherever sparks in the barn can start another blaze, put them out. <laughs> While Tonto stood guard over the prisoners, the nesters fought to control the blaze. Wherever sparks lit, someone rushed to put them out. The night breeze made their task more difficult. But gradually, as the barn burnt itself out, the danger lessened. At last, the masked man called out, The danger's over! Gosh, much more of that than I just about cave in. Mr. Richter, did you see me dig in? Did you see the way I licked that fire? You did good work, Missouri. Let's have a look at our prisoners. <coughs> Any trouble with them, Tonto? Them not try to get away. Uh, I'd sure hate to make a break for it with that redskin watching me. Me time. Good. Well, Hila, this'll be about your last raid for a while. How'd you fellas know we was here? Tonto learned your plans. Well, I'll teach Stand him back. the Hi, look at that. The ranchers. No, man, don't start no trouble with them. Don't do nothing unless they make you. Well, you'll have no trouble with them. Gosh, there's Mag with them. Mag! Hey, Mag, look here. Look 
Look how I got these crooks and kept the ranch house from murder. That those other fellows never helped you call, Missouri. Oh, they helped me some. You Kent? I am. Here are some prisoners for you. I... Well, I... I should think you would have a hard time thinking of something to say. Every one of you critters ought to be so ashamed of yourselves you'd feel like keeping out a decent folks' side. Mag, we, we didn't know. We figured nesters were just plain nesters. You ever had no use for them yourself. Why, you fellas were setting to run them out of the county. They was here saving your property. You needn't uh, keep rubbing it in, man. Why shouldn't I? It's all you've done since we left the water hole. And I don't expect to live to see the day when I won't remind you when I think you're needing it. Men, the nesters didn't stop to think of themselves. When they knew your homes were threatened, they acted. Yeah, Look right. here, Mr. Simmons. Yeah? I... I reckon I'm speaking for the rest of the ranchers around here when I say I'm doggone sorry for everything that's happened. And and from now on, you folks can take your pick of the best farms to be had. That, that's mighty handsome of you, Mr. Kent. But it took the mask man to open his eyes. Me and the mask man, Mag. Don't you forget me. You? Why, you toothless old wreck, you ain't nothing but a drag. Oh, silver Howard! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Mm-hmm.